Hi Sunshines and welcome back to my channel. It is summertime. My kids are officially out of school. Frosties are only 50 cents at Wendy's. So I picked those up and picked my kids up from school and look like the cool mom but only spent a dollar. Kind of love scoring points for only a dollar with your kids, right? Anyway, today I have the Lola Beauty Box. Y'all know I love this box. I can't let it go. I have been canceling almost all of my beauty subscription boxes, but this one I think I'm going to hold on to for a little while longer. Although Birch is working my nerves because they keep sending me emails where I could get two boxes for $10 if I come back. And one day they're going to hit me just right and I'm going to hit that button. But for now, I'm trying to resist. So as a side note, I want to ask you guys a question, okay? Because I think you guys are fun and funny, but there's a lot of wisdom on my channel. And so I'm thinking, I've been thinking about something for about six months. And I brought it up to my husband and I thought he was just going to absolutely nix it. And he was like super open to it. So you see that little building back there? It's just a shed that we made cute. We put like glass doors on it and made it kind of cute. It needs to be like pressure washed and probably painted again, but I'm considering turning it into my she shed. Do y'all know what a she shed is? If you don't, I'm gonna post a link below. Now the video that I'm gonna post below is like, ooh la la, my she shed would not be that posh. But I'm thinking about turning that into my filming space and make it my own because I have lighting and ring lights and can light, all kinds of lights everywhere through my house and backdrops and things. And I think it would be really fun. It has electricity in it and an air conditioner. So I don't know. Tell me what you think about that. Tell me if you think I'm crazy. It's got plywood floors. I would just have to put up some drywall and I could get some cheap flooring. I did my kid's bathroom floor for like less than $50. So I know I could get some cute flooring um, for not a lot of money and put some paint and hang some pictures. I don't know. Tell me what you think after you see that video. And remember, mine's not going to be that posh by any means. There won't be wallpaper or anything. Um, I'm just throwing something on the wall to see if it sticks, but our handyman is coming out and we're gonna talk to him about it. Um, so if you have anything that I should be asking, let me know. Or if you have a she shed, tell me your experience with it. All right, before we get started, my name is Christy. Welcome to my channel. I am so happy to have you. Please consider hitting that subscription button and giving this video a thumbs up. And let's talk about Lola Box and she sheds in the comments. All right, so here it is. I know a lot of you were excited about one specific thing in the box. I only saw one spoiler, but a couple of you have told me that you have resubscribed to Lola because of it. And it is, well, I'll show you the card first. The theme is Bloom Lola Bloom. This is a cute card. I kind of like this. It's nice and bright and pretty. All right, so the one that everybody was rejoining Lola for was for this Tarte palette. It is the High Performance Naturals. Isn't that pretty? I'm super happy for this blush because the blush that I did in my five minute challenge that I wore, I dropped it a couple days later and it shattered everywhere. So. I will be happy to try this blush, but isn't that gorgeous? I like how it opens, that's so pretty. So that's pretty, and then all of these are really natural. I like this toasted marshmallow color, cookie swap, twinkle lights. These are all really pretty. So I think this is a really great palette. This would be a great palette to travel with too in the summer. That palette is $18. So I think that's a really good price for something like that. I think that's really reasonable. All right, the next thing in here is a, <laughs> y'all, I keep telling you Juice Beauty is making the rounds in all the boxes. This is a Phyto Pigment Cream Shadow Stick, which I already have one of these. This is in the shade Cove, which I think I have. I think I got this color in another box. I either got this color or a little bit lighter. So I'm gonna put this one in a giveaway. This is a really nice product. They're all natural. They don't have a lot of the crap stuff in them. A lot of makeup does. And this is a $22 cream shadow. It says, um, shimmering color packed with plant-derived photo pigments deliver seamless blendability for shading lips and outlining eyes. Okay. All right, the next thing in here, what is this? This is by Lauren B. It is Nail Couture Beverly Hills, a polishing hand scrub. Okay, I like this. This is something that you don't get in subscription boxes and I feel like your hands show your true age. You know those ladies that have had facelifts and their face looks great, but then you look at their hands and you're like, what? Um, <laughs> this is really a great product to have. And it is, wow, for this little bottle, $20. 
Let me, let's see if we can figure out why this is $20. Um, it's an eco-friendly exfoliator, potent anti-ager and hydrator in one. It brightens, soothes, heals chopping and protects against environmental damage. Vitamin E, aloe, sunflower oil, and Swiss derived green apple stem cells. That sounds pretty interesting. Okay. So we got that. I like that. The next thing in here is a brush. I feel like it's the month of brushes. I'm not mad though. This is the Duo Fiber Blush Brush by Crown. So you have this side, which is nice and soft. And then you've got this. Is this called like a stippling brush? I don't have one of these. I think this is more for like foundation. And this is more for like blush if I have to um, guess. So this is only $9. It's the Duo Fiber, there's a B, sorry. Duo Fiber Blender Brush is designed for use with liquid powder and cream products and then foundation applications okay so yeah foundation and then like blush and stuff all right and then last but not least oh my gosh look at this packaging i've never heard of this brand it's called sticks isn't that the cutest name for a lipstick all right this is 14 dollars what color did i get i got the color rose all right this packaging reminds me of like 70s basketball players for some reason with their short basketball shorts, but their long like athletic socks that went up to their knees. This is the cutest packaging. Y'all, I feel like companies are like so upping their package game. Isn't that cute? Yeah, so it opens this way and then I guess, oh, okay, so this turns so you can push it up. That's hysterical. Let's see if we can try this color. Oh, it's pretty too. Ooh, it's real pretty okay I like that I like that it's just a good basic color and I'm interested to try this brand all right so that was my box I think it was good a brush this I'm really excited about because it doesn't come in boxes the lipstick is cute the palette's amazing and I'm gonna do this for a giveaway this is a great um, giveaway product so that will go in my pile I hope you're having a great day I have a couple of clothing boxes coming my stitch fix which I already peeked at and have some hope although I don't think I got my stylist back and my fab fit fun style box is coming this weekend so stay tuned they're both supposed to be delivered today so at least one of them will be out tomorrow I will see you soon talk to you later bye